In this video, I'm going to be showing you the build that I use in order to face tank bullets and missiles like something out of a sci-fi movie. Hopefully with a good amount of survivability and a hell of a lot of damage, you'll like it too. So first off, how are those technical difficulties treating everyone? Just want to point out on my main character, I can't even open the map. It crashes immediately, which is great fun. Secondly, I want to give a shout out to Rousey for this one. He is probably my uh, new favorite. Let's just talk random crap at each other for three hours straight kind of person. And it's been great fun. And he was actually the inspiration for this build simply just because no matter what idea or build I have out that I just throw at him he just goes yeah but just put flatline on with this and that and like you just get so much more the guy's completely in love with flatline it's kind of fun anyway with that in mind I was like well the main thing I have with heartbreaker is like it feels like it should be a lot more tanky than it is so I kind of went out of my way to keep maximum damage while actually trying to maintain as much tankiness as possible and this is the result and luckily we've recently actually had well i say recently tu16 so i mean recent memory really last update and with the rather recent video i did on skills with x30s and my slight blunder with the defender drone i was eager to test it out and use it and i'm actually kind of chuffed with it I'm not too sure still how it works. It seems to deteriorate quicker the more damage it seems to take, not just destroy, like its effect slows down the more it takes. However, the cooldown for it, at least in PvE, is quite worthwhile. So here we can see me rocking a shield and a defender drone. And the idea behind this build is between the shield, the defender drone, and building the heartbreaker stacks for our armor, we're able to maintain vigilance uptime to the max although we're able to maintain it just by using smart play and the cover to cover system i wanted to make a build where although it is a lot more difficult to grind out for this build i wanted to get make a build where players who are new to the game if they're utilizing vigilance don't come back with the argument of well i don't have that much uptime on it with this build you have a lot of uptime with vigilance Partly because of the shield, partly because of Defender Drone, partly because of the armor stacks that you gain. It is possible to maintain a 100% uptime on Vigilance with or without this build. However, I wanted to go for a build that was 1. High in DPS, 2. Pretty damn safe, and 3. Utilizes mechanics that I don't typically use such as the defender drone and the utility of the defender drone and I must say I'm actually very impressed with the results so far. So as we can probably guess we're using four priest heartbreaker we're not using the backpack we are using the chest as this is minus pristine example which is like best in slot for any dps build we are using the heartbreaker chest we're also using Picaro's holster and a Brazos backpack. The reason for this is quite simply that even utilizing the Heartbreaker chest and other pieces that we could potentially have, utilizing the Heartbreaker mechanic, we are still going to be somewhat squishy, simply just because gaining X amount of armor when you don't have that much armor is still not a lot of armor. Although it's a 50% increase, a 50% increase of 726,000 armor is not a lot. So you do get chew through quite quick. So I've gone for Picaro's holster and a Brazos backpack, keeping the two blue cores that they will come with. You'll be happy to know there is no unicorn farming here. With two-piece Brazos, one being the Picaro's holster, has an armor core. The backpack, which is Brazos, has an armor core with Vigilance. We're running Technician, as well as the fact that the two-piece gives us the skill tier as well. We effectively have a skill tier for shield, which is pretty handy for face tanking, although not as tanky as the Bulwark. Going for our normal Crusader shield will benefit us 
immensely. Because we are running Technician and Two Piece Brazos, we also have a skill tier two Defender Drone. Although this isn't that beneficial, it is just enough to allow us to completely and utterly face tank enemies, taking minimal damage to our cells as well as our shield, which allows for a greater uptime of the shield itself. And we're able to do things like this, which is I'm just harassing a convoy that's making its way into the control point, and I don't actually care <laughs> like normally when this sort of thing happens i'm end up i end up being forced to complete both because i take too much damage from a variety of different sources and i ended up having to do both typically just to uh go with the old trope of enemies that are dead don't shoot back however with this setup even enemies that are alive they do shoot back but they don't do enough for me to actually care about Adding in the old play style of utilizing cover and moving around, adding in Defender Drone with a shield and Heartbreaker stacks, we end up being pretty damn survivable. The only issue is I'm using a Kingbreaker and that's not the most accurate weapon. Potentially would suggest that if you're going to go this play style, maybe a Famas with Flatline would be a decent secondary option. However, for maximum DPS, which is what I'm all about, yeah, the uh, Kingbreaker is very, very hard to be on a Spotter, Pulse, Heartbreaker styled build simply just because Perfect Flatline does do a hell of a lot more damage. So best in slot for these types of builds will be Kingbreaker. The only caveat is do what I do. Play just a little bit closer to the enemy just to ensure that your bullets actually hit. So rather than stand 20 meters back, go for 15 or 10. And hopefully this build interests you. We are about to get into some DPS checking in a second and then I'll be showing the full build, although I've described it, just to show you the stats as well as the individual rolls and pieces. You'll be happy to know that it's coming up pretty damn soon. So there we have it really, a Heartbreaker build that is as tanky as it is doing damage. It is pretty fun to play. It does allow for some unique playstyles, and the part that I'm really liking personally at the moment is the fact that I no longer have to uh, keep an eye on my Vigilance buff just because it's basically always up. I don't have to worry too much about it. So just going to build up stacks. You can see here headshot damage moving up. We do get some pretty hefty damage and we are able to kill things. This is a named elite on Heroic pretty damn quickly. It's not exactly a uh, anything to worry about. And we're building up a good amount of armor as well. We're not running the backpack, so we're just going to get 100% increase. But we do have blue, two blue cores to help bolster this. So now we're at full stacks. Just going to do some body shots just to show you the numbers. We're still doing pretty good against body. And then we're going to go body DPS. This comes out to about 7 mil, just over 7 mil. And if we go for headshot DPS, we also do get some spicy numbers coming in at just over 11 mil. Obviously got our lovely crusader shield for a bit of tankiness and our defender drone just to help us maintain stacks as well as the armor with the vigilance debuff in case we're getting shot from the sides or in front and the overall build is as follow so i'm running kingbreaker as you can see for perfect flat line the secondary weapon i have gone for blue screen however this would be entirely up to you don't really have a way to continually proc the talent on it other than the defender drone but four piece heartbreaker as you can see we are rocking some crit damage and crit chance for the mask the chest is the same again two crit damage gloves is crit chance and the needs are also crit chance for the backpack like i said we go in brazos vigilance keeping the arm core crit chance crit damage and then Picaro's whole start with the crit chance roll on there we are also rocking, just for the stat screen, we are rocking 50% crit chance with 105% critical hit damage. Although this does seem quite low, the build does counteract it. And if we get our weapon to plus 15, we'll hit that 100% all weapon damage, which will be quite handy. But in the meantime, have fun, good luck, and don't die. It's bad for the health.